Hello, my friends. How are you? Look at this beautiful place. Hmm, can you name the kinds of matter found in this place? Great! The trees and mountains, the water, the steam and the air, these are all matter. As we have learned before, matter is everything that we can discover using our senses. The trees and mountains, the water, the steam and air. Do you notice a difference between these kinds of matter? These kinds of matter differ in their phases. There are three phases of matter. The solid phase, the liquid phase, and the gas phase. Examples of the solid phase include a cup, a book, rocks, a table. Can you change the shape of these objects? Of course not. Notice that their shape is stable and doesn't change with the place they are in. So matter in the solid phase has a distinct shape. Matter in the liquid phase includes water, milk, juice, oil. However, does a liquid have a distinct shape? Great job! It does not. A liquid's shape changes with the container it is in. Here, it looks like a bowl. Here, the liquid took the shape of the glass. And here, the shape of the cup. And here, the liquid took the shape of this glass. So, my friends, liquid matter does not have a distinct shape. It takes the shape of the container it's in. Examples of the gas phase include air and steam. However, does it have a distinct shape? Notice, my friends, that the air around us and the steam is hard to determine their shape. Matter in the gas phase does not have a shape. It spreads everywhere. And now, my friends, let us classify various kinds of matter according to their phases. Are you ready? Let's begin! Look at this balloon. What is the phase of the air inside the balloon? Great job! The air inside the balloon is in the gas phase. What is the phase of the coffee inside the cup? Think, think! Great job! The coffee is in the liquid phase. What about this chair? You guys are awesome! It has a distinct shape, so it's in the solid phase. Hmm, let's look at this pen. Great, it is also in the solid phase. But the rain is in which of the three phases? Great work, friends. It's in the liquid phase.
And finally, the air that is coming from the fan is in what phase? That's correct. It's in the gas phase. Great job! So, my friends, we have found matter in its many different phases. Some of them are in the solid phase, such as the pen and the chair. And some of them are in the liquid phase, such as raindrops and coffee. And some of them are in the gas phase, such as the air coming from a fan and the air inside a balloon. And together we learned about the three phases of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. And we now know how to distinguish between the three phases of matter. And finally, we learned how to classify matter based on its phase.